This is Twit. Okay, so as I mentioned two weeks ago, I was hoping to be able to announce that Spinrite 6.1 was finished. And really, it, it is all but finished. If I were not still making some incremental progress that matters, I would have declared it finished. I've been wrestling with the behavior of some really troubled drives, like like finally someone FedExed me. I, I, I paid the FedEx shipping because there was no way I was going to have a, 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 a someone who's been testing Spinrite pay shipping. He FedExed me his drive Friday that arrived three days ago on Saturday. And because it, Spinrite was getting stuck at 99.9953% of the drive. Well, stuck is no good. It turns out, it it was that drive. It was a Western Digital was returning a bogus status, which was tripping up Spinrite, which wasn't prepared for like the, a ridiculous status bite coming back from the drive. So Spinrite's better now, and three other people's drives that were also getting stuck for the same reason no longer do. So. You know, it's it's like the edgiest of edge cases, but I want this thing to be perfect. And and the things I'm doing will carry forward into the future. So I would have to do it sooner or later. I might as well do it now. Anyway, I need to give it a little more time to settle. Um, but, you know, what I know is that as a consequence of this intense scrutiny at the finish line, this spin right really does much more than any version of Spinrite ever has before. So, anyway, I, I'm just, you know, days away. Hey there, Scott Wilkinson here. In case you hadn't heard, Home Theater Geeks is back. Each week, I bring you the latest audio-video news, tips and tricks to get the most out of your AV system, product reviews, and more. You can enjoy Home Theater Geeks only if you're a member of Club Twit, which costs seven bucks a month. Or you can subscribe to Home Theater Geeks by itself for only $2.99 a month. I hope you'll join me for a weekly dose of Home Theater Geekitude.